Ladies and gentlemen on the YouTube, how are we? My name is Brokeboy2000, welcome into the channel, and today we're going to be looking at footies, and it looks to be over. It looks to be over, and it's quite sad, because footies started so well, and it's just gone out with a whimper. But anyway, if you do enjoy FIFA content, we we'll put in some more stuff, probably have a second channel going up soon as well, but if you enjoy the FIFA content, make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Get the algorithm liking this video so that we can take off. And as always, Twitch link in the description. Don't know if I'll be streaming on the day this video comes out, but I will try my best. If not, this video is going up in place. And I'll stream tomorrow for rewards, because that's the only thing left in FIFA with any sense of excitement, am I right? So anyway, the first thing to note with this is that there is literally no promo packs. Oh, there is. They've actually put promo packs in there. There wasn't any earlier. There was no promo packs in earlier. That was a glitch. I saw in the Panthers 6pm content video that that was a glitch. But still, these premium gold unlimited packs and these prime gold players packs, maybe these were there yesterday, who knows. But the packs just aren't worth, there's no preview packs. And then the SBCs, there's good SBCs. We'll go through the SBCs. Like, this Mendez is probably the worst value of the lot. He's an 80 and 82, and I mean, he's not that bad. But, I just don't need him. Aubameyang, too expensive. Lingard will probably do at some point. Umtiti will probably do at some point. Even though these cards are there for three and four days, so they're not there for that long, lads. And then we've got all the icons. We've got Vieira, Ronaldo, just far too expensive. Johan Cruyff, Pele. And then we've got the player picks, 87 by 10s. We've got this, which will grind when Icon Swaps comes out. That'll probably be one of the last things we do on FIFA. Then we'll take a few weeks off. I'll put up some Football Manager, some NBA, because 2K comes out on the 10th of September. I'll confirm that for you. But 2K comes out on the 10th of September. We'll be grinding 2K alongside FIFA. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a bit weird. But we do have about a week or so ahead of 2k, so 2k will be the main sort of content, but yeah, this content's just a bit eh, like, no one wants to do an icon pick that requires 20 different squads, I'm sorry, no one does, it's August, no one wants to do an icon pick that requires 50 different squads, it's just the way it is, and then, and then, there's objectives now, I know what you're thinking. Objectives have been really good this year, and they have. They have. This is probably going to turn into a FIFA review on a whole video. But, objectives have been air. Eh, they've been hit and miss. And how many objectives do we have? We have Fatih, we have Silver Sendoff, which I will do at some point. We have the Silver Beasts, which I probably won't do. Silver Week Only Plus, which is there for 13 more days. Week 3 Bronze, Week 4 Bronze, Squad Battles. Yeah, so... As you can probably tell, they've given up on objectives. They've probably given up on milestones too. We've won a few draft matches. But other than that, I think we've done just about everything. We've done just about everything there is to do. We have done just about everything. But yeah, so the main contention with footies is that they release everything in batches. Like... That is one of the main issues I have with it, is you're releasing it in batches. It's like, you release batch 1 and it has these cards, batch 2 will have these cards, batch 3 will have these cards. Just put them all into packs. Let's let's go look at... Oh, I'll show you the team as well, why not? It's a bit of a fun team, a bit of a different one, but yeah, there it is. Probably not going to look like that when you actually see it, I won't lie. But it'll be good content for the lads. Anyway, anyway, and they actually have dynamics now, which is cool, but let's just go to rare gold players, and I'll tell you what should be in packs and what shouldn't. So, just rare golds, for example, you've got Summer Stars Messi, Summer Stars Ronaldo, Tots, Summer Stars, Team of the Season slash Team of the Year, it doesn't matter, Summer Stars, Normal, Tots, Inform, like, you want to get as many cards in the game 
that have special cards, like Flip Freeze, Team of the Year, Team of the Season, Inform, like Team of the Season, like you want to get as many cards in the game that have special variants as you can. And they're not doing that. They they must prolong the thing. Like, do you know what would make these Icon SBCs that you've released doable? Is if you had everything available for three weeks, instead of releasing Foot Birthday for six weeks, instead of having Foot Birthdays and what and everything else separate, and then having Team of the Seasons separate, and then keeping Team of the Seasons, some of them, but then putting Summer Stars and Paths to Glories in. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You're losing money. People are more likely to open packs if there's more stuff to put in them. Because if there's more chance of making profit from packs, people will open the packs. But no, EA are content on losing money in a period where, yes, it's coming towards the end of the cycle, they've probably made X amount of millions of dollars, or billions of dollars, we know this already, but that isn't the problem I have. The problem I have is that these lads just don't seem to understand what they're doing. Only 200 players are in packs, as you might be able to see on the screen. 200! That's far not enough! Content this year has been hit and miss. Sometimes they hit the objectives out of the park, sometimes they don't. Milestones have been very miss. Like, milestones, some of the milestones that they've had should be there all year. And if you want to add to it, you want to add to it, you want to update it, and you want to add more rewards, then add more rewards. But the problem with those guys is they just don't want to. Like, they sit there and they go, oh, sorry, you've got to... We must keep it so basic and so boring and not update them until this time because that's when people will play. Like the draft milestones, you could start off with probably well, 48 draft wins isn't as hard as people think it is. So you could probably keep that one, alright? But if you're not going to have players that have packs or have rare gold cards that are very good at the start of the game. And if you want to update it as time goes by, update it. But then say, you get to go, but have it as a separate thing. Don't update this one so that people don't feel like they've missed out. That way, you can always have people that'll go in for the draft wins purely so that you will get... purely for the rewards, whether it be SBC cards or whether it be cards that you can't really access in the market because of their price. Like, it'll incentivize people to get involved. These ones are there as well because it's like... It's just very, like, who on earth actually wants to do these past about January? Like, no disrespect, but I didn't do these on my main account because they were fucking shit. I only did them, I think, for SBC fodder. Like, you should have cards like this. Like, put out a milestones card every time there's a promo. And if, it and if you leave it there for the remainder of the cycle, or you leave it there for a few weeks, at least it gives people something to do. Because that's the problem with EA, is they only seem to care about division rivals, foot champions, and SBCs. Outside of that, absolutely nothing gets cared about. And it sucks, as a FIFA player. Because you don't want to be playing the same three game modes every single- You don't want to be doing the same three things every single week. Like, if I have to play squad battles, I will play squad battles, but, <laughs> but at the same time, I would much prefer playing all these different game modes where I get incentivized, Inse yeah, I think that's a word, incentivized, so that I can get good cards, or so that I can get good packs. Like, they had an objective from day one, I believe it was, finishing mastery, I believe it was this one. Where you could get, where you could get two hundred, where you could get a fifty k pack finessing a hundred finesses. You could get a hundred, five hundred goals and five hundred assists. You got jumbo rare players packs. Like that's the kind of stuff that EA should be doing because it it tells people, listen, if you do this, especially early on, you will get good packs and they will help you build out your team quicker. Now I know it's not. People obviously beat the system and they just go, oh, and begin a squad battles and they do it 500 times. But, hey, if that's what you've got to do, that's what you've got to do. They just seem to give up past Lord knows when. Icon swaps is air. Why are you having icon swaps in the middle of January? Like, I don't know. 
I really don't know why. It just doesn't make any sense. And icon swaps I probably covered for a separate video. It's just like I like the concept of icon swaps, but they roll it out so late. <laughs> And they roll out the icons so late, it's like, who's gonna, like, I only do it for the content at this point. Like, this pack would be one of the last things we do on FIFA, and there's 26 days left. That's how long I'm probably gonna be on this game. Three weeks and five days. After that, we are done. We are probably on to 2K, or we're probably on to Football Manager, or we're probably on to something else, like Madden, until... FIFA 22 on Early Access, which of course, there'll be plenty of on the YouTube and the Twitch. We'll be coming, we'll be announcing more content ideas for FIFA 22 in the upcoming weeks, so stay tuned on all socials. But, yeah, it's just not fun. Like, I didn't even do these. Like, I'm gonna have to miss one of these, because of what I did. But hey, it is what it is, right? It is what it is, you move on. You move on. I don't know, man. It's just... Icons just feel so hit and miss. Like, you're releasing all these cards late in the year. Release them in, like, March! And don't give them time! Don't give them time limits! That's the problem you're giving, is you're giving all these cards 36 days or 19 days. Like... That doesn't do anything. That never achieves anything, having these cards out for only this amount of time. Give us unlimited icons. Especially if it's your Cruyffs, your Pele's, your Vieira's, your Ronaldo's, your Garich's. Like, the best ones, give them unlimited time. Maybe on Re, you give a few months. But still, you give him time. Because these squads you're requiring are not cheap. They are now, but... La Liga Santander 89 rated squad in March, or in April, or in February, is not cheap. Like, a 92 rated squad for our boy R9 is not cheap. So, if you want to incentivize people to play your game, to grind your icons at a usable time, so they're not sitting there wondering why the fuck they've wasted their time grinding for these cards, like, if you want these cards, do the loans. Do the fucking loans. How much is a loan R9? He's probably still like an 86 rated squad, knowing my luck. An 80. So an 80 rated squad for an R9. Now that is value. That is value. Do the loans. Do the loans if you want the icons. And go in friendlies and slap up some kids. That play friendlies, of course. Because it's just so much more worth. And then, they don't update Rivals Rewards, so you're stuck with the same old Rivals Rewards every day. Foot Champs Rewards, they sort of update, but it's not update enough, because when it comes to the time where the cards you're getting are actually not as good as some of the cards available in packs, like, they've got Summer Stars and Paths of Glories out. You can't update the game to put Summer Stars and Paths of Glories in reds. If you're gonna have red rewards, and this is, we're gonna have a separate thing for FIFA 22, which they should have had, because they've done, actually we won't, because they've put everything in and they're not gonna change anything now, but they should have had it, so that you got team of the week one. Ones to watches, reds. Promo X, red. Promo Y, reds. So that at least, and I think I'm not the only one to have thought of this, but, Every single time there is a promo, at least you're not just fighting for red picks. Because red picks are not that good. Red picks just aren't good. I don't know why all these red picks are so highly thought of. Like, they're shitty most of the time. You have to be very good, and even then... You get four or five red picks, you still could get five 81, 79 raiders, especially early on. Like, I know they won't do foot champs for a few weeks, so it'll give us time to prepare the team, whatever we're going to use for foot champions, but I just don't know. It's not fun. It is not fun playing these games this long. I do it because I'm a content creator at this point. I know, it's a bit of a joke, but I'm a content creator. And it's what I do. 
it's content for me. Sitting here making these videos, whilst it is content, it's not that enjoyable. I just want FIFA 22 to be the absolute best year of my life. Like, if by the end of next year, we haven't taken off, as in we haven't got, like, I don't even know. I'm not going to set these unrealistic goals for myself, but I feel like next year, we're going to go a lot harder. There's going to be a lot more motivation, because the problem is, I've started on this YouTube grind far too late. I've started on so many levels far too late. But next year, and we're going to have this discussion on the stream as well, is... I've just been here far too late. No good. No good, man. But, but anyways, that's that's me going. That's me, that's me going to stop the going to this. It's just not fun. It's just not fun. But, yeah. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Comment down below. What are your thoughts on FIFA 21? You might have played a minute, you might have played an hour, you might have played the entire thing, and I appreciate all the support throughout FIFA 21. It's been the best year of my streaming career, but of course, it can only get better. FIFA 22, we go again, we absolutely smash it out of the park. That's what, that's what it should be. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you all in the next one.